Valley Congressman Henry Cuellar requesting tens of millions of dollars in the upcoming DHS supplemental budget. He's working to ensure cities like McAllen are reimbursed for the cost to house migrants. Our Mike Jimenez explains. During the last influx of undocumented immigrants in 2014, Congressman Guayar authorized funds from homeland appropriations to provide humanitarian relief. But so far, McAllen has only seen a small portion of those funds. Out of the last five years, over $100 million has come to the state. Only $400,000 has come to McAllen. With the Democrats now in charge of the House, Guayar wants to change the way dollars are distributed for humanitarian relief, bypassing the state. Trying to change the formula where the money will go from the federal government straight to the local governments where the local governments will make an application the city the county the nonprofits the city of McAllen has spent nearly 1.5 million dollars to address the influx of migrants mayor Jim Darling calls the humanitarian crisis a valley issue people are coming across the border seeking asylum sometimes they're not in the best of health they have infectious diseases um, and so you have to be careful about if we didn't have them in ours and we released them they'd be walking all over and uh, you know being with our citizens, etc., and that's not a good health situation for anybody. Darling has been working with Cuellar's office, who today confirmed the congressman is requesting funds for relief in the upcoming DHS supplemental budget, which could be approved in the upcoming weeks. I asked for 50. It looks like I might get 30 million dollars, but 30 million dollars is a lot better than 400 thousand dollars. So I'm trying to change the mechanism on how we provide humanitarian relief. In McAllen, I'm Mike Jimenez for KVL Local 23 News. Claire says if he is unsuccessful in adding the funding into the upcoming DHS supplemental budget, he will try a different process and would hope to secure some type of funding by the end of this year.